hope you're all doing it really well welcome back to my channel and to a highly requested video that I'm filming today which is gonna be how I stay organized prepared and on top of my workload for a week so this was something that was asked for quite a lot on Instagram and um, because obviously what I do I work from home it's quite a challenge actually a lot of people do think working from home is amazing and it is it's absolutely incredible but it does come with its challenges because you've got to try and stay organized you've got to try and stay on top of things you are your own boss so you've got to be really clever with your time scheduling you've just got to be organized so a lot of people do ask how I do it and um, I do often share my to-do lists on Instagram and a lot of people do reply and say how do you get all of this done in one day are you like Superman and I'm not <laughs> I'm not perfect by any means but I am quite prepared in the sense that I know I am my own boss if I don't get my own work done it won't get done so yeah I'm gonna be sharing my tips and tricks on how I stay organized how I stay motivated how I stay prepared for a day of working from home I'm also very happy to announce that this video is in partnership with Looms Eyewear. So Looms got in touch and they are an eyewear company that specialise in glasses that are designed to reduce eye strain by having blue light lenses. So the lenses that I have and the glasses that I've been wearing are these frames here. I absolutely love them. They're completely lightweight. I do wear glasses naturally. However, my glasses don't have the blue light screen in them. These do. They don't actually have my prescription in them, which is great for those of you who don't wear glasses naturally, but do you want to have something to help protect your eyes if you are having a lot of screen time? So like I said, these are in a tortoiseshell color and I absolutely love them. They do have a blue light film on them. So when I'm staring at my screen for prolonged periods of time, which naturally I do anyway, as I'm editing, I am I'm replying to emails, I'm doing Photoshop work, that kind of thing. I do stare at my screen a lot and it is a big screen. So I always try to reduce the brightness and it just, it's difficult because when you're editing video and pictures, you want it to have it as real life as possible. So having these blue light lenses on really, really helps. You can kind of see the reflection as well. They're super smart and they're not particularly intrusive either. So I don't really feel like I'm wearing a lot of heavy eyewear. They're really, really nice, super lightweight, quite flexible as well. And they do help me throughout the day. I've been trying these out for about a week and a half because I wanted to give a true review and representation. And so far, I am so impressed. So yeah, the great thing about the Loons glasses as well is that they come in a different variety of frames as well. So these ones are really light because I feel like they contrast against my skin tone and hair color. But there are lots of other options online for you guys to check out if you do um, want something different. So yeah, I thought I'd just go through my day of how I stay motivated and organized and hopefully you guys can get some tips and maybe implement this in your work and day, whether you work from home or you work in an office or that kind of thing. So yeah, I generally start my morning around 5.30 to 6.30, varying on whether we are going to the gym that day. So myself and Zara do like to wake up as early as we possibly can, get to the gym, get a workout done, and then we are ready for the day. It's so good. It puts you in such a good mood, gets the endorphins running, and I know 5.30 is definitely an early time, and it's not particularly achievable for a lot of people. Um, if you've got kids or you work really late in the evening, just factor in that this is just what works for me. Please don't feel like I said you have to wake up at 5.30. So today was Monday. I woke up at 6.30 because we didn't go to the gym this morning, but we're going to go tomorrow. So when I wake up, I immediately just decided to get out of bed. I actually put my phone, which is here, charging at my desk area. So I'm not inclined to go on it in the evening and I don't go on it as soon as I wake up in the morning. I find it really distracting. Obviously with what I do, I do need to be connected to the world. <laughs> to reply to comments, emails, that kind of thing. But in that space of the morning, nothing really much is happening. So I decided to just wake up, pour myself a glass of water, and then head into the shower, have a shower, get ready, and make myself a coffee. It's a routine I do every day, and I absolutely love it. I'm using the Barista Express by Sage, and I, I honestly, it's changed my life. That coffee machine is a dream. Um, I'm having an oat milk flat white. It's like my go-to every morning. And just having a coffee like really sets me up for the day. 
and then my breakfast completely varies throughout the day. Don't worry, this is not going to be morning routine. This is just how I kind of set myself up for the day. So breakfast, super, super simple. We usually make a smoothie on the morning. Um, it's just a good way to get loads of veggies in. And um, I have like a breakfast that completely varies again from like porridge to granola to cereal. Uh, this morning I just had a toasted bagel with almond butter and a banana. And that was me. That's generally what I do. Um, and then from that minute, that's around 8 a.m., and I'm just in the working zone from that minute. I usually have breakfast around 7.30 and then I'll post to Instagram. I do post on Instagram near enough every single morning around 7.30 to 7.50, um, time dependent. And I just feel like it's a nice routine to get into to just share an image for the first part of your day and then engage with people just to reply to comments and DMs from the day before and that kind of thing just really gets me in the zone. And then I'll just have a little quick scroll through my emails, check if there's anything that needs addressing immediately before I come into my bedroom, and then start actually on my emails and my to-do list. So, now you're all caught up. The time I'm currently filming this, it's 20 past 10. I've actually been to the doctors this morning, hence why I'm starting this video a little bit later. Um, I have just finished up an edit, but I'm going to be showing you everything that I do that really helps me stay motivated. So this is my notepad. It's incredibly boring. I'm sorry I haven't got anything that really fancy to show you guys. But it's sectioned off and this is from Poundland. Very, very cheap. And basically, as you can see, I absolutely rely heavily on my notepad. So I write to-do lists like no tomorrow. So when I'm writing my to-do lists, I used to absolutely attack myself with like 300 things to do. And then you almost get a sense that you never really achieve once you don't get your to-do list done for the day. And I used to feel that every day and then it would be niggling in my head that the next day I'd transfer everything over. And I know sometimes setting realistic to-do lists isn't actually realistic because you have a lot to do. So what I've tended to do is tackle my biggest tasks on the morning and then get the rest of my tasks done throughout the day so that I know my big bulk of workload is done and I instantly get that gratification that I know I'm already ahead, which is so handy. So. Let me talk you through how I write a to-do list. So here, um, this was my to-do list from on Friday. So here I've got finish edit of weekend vlog Cambridge and then post office parcel Burton Court. So this in itself, I know that I need a highlight because I've done. And my color code system works. So if it's yellow, it's done. If it's orange, it needs to. And so I posted that. So that's all. Sorry, it's really hard to do one handed. And then finish off the Cambridge vlog. I did that this morning. So that's all done. So. Fresh new page, I always like fresh new pages because it just means that everything on here is what I need to do. In terms of what equipment I use, I'm such a traditionist. I prefer paper diaries over digital diaries. Um, I know call me weird and I know a lot of people are gonna say that this isn't the best way to do it, but it just works for me, it's how I work. So this is everything I use. I have a pen, a ruler, and three colors. So like I've just said, yellow is my color that I use for when something's done. Green is something that I can put on with orange. And what this is, is essentially if I use these two for filming. So when I do a video, I highlight in orange when it's filmed and then I highlight in green when it's edited and uploaded and then I know it's all done. And so this is kind of like my three color code system that I use. So today is the 2nd of February. So I always start my to-do list with a date. So I'll put to-do and then I'll do 2nd of the 2nd Oh wow, it's two, 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 two today. Okay, perfect. And then I will underline that just so I know that this is today. And then I will highlight that in yellow so I know always for reference, this is what we're working from. So that's today's done. So first thing I write on my to-do list always is the biggest bulk, I use my inbox. Today is obviously Monday, so there's been things that maybe came through on the weekend. So I'm just gonna put address, urgent, and then I'm just gonna put Chase. Obviously there's only so much I can put on here because some of it is confidential about work that's coming up. So I'm just gonna put Chase and then go in on there. And the next thing I know I need to do is do some editing. So I'm gonna just quote edit YouTube videos. Obviously depending on when this video goes live it's dependent on whether or not um, you guys have seen all these videos but I'm just gonna edit YouTube videos and I know that I have quite a backlog so today is going to be a busy editing day hence why I've got the glasses on. So I'm going to put um, Ewan baking video which definitely will be live by the time this goes up and then I'm also going to put Ewan Primark vlog uh, amazing and then I'm also going to put midweek meals. Now I know that these three videos are gonna be a priority because this one needs to go up, which obviously will be live by the time you guys have seen this. And then these two also need to go live this week. 
So that's my to-do list for today. And what I do is draw little boxes as well, just to get that gratification of having a tick. So then I know that that is edited and uploaded, as I said earlier, and then I'll do another box that it is done. So, for instance, so this box will be in orange that says edited, and then this box will say that it's uploaded. And that's done, literally easy. And then the next thing I need to do is schedule uh, Instagram content. This one is for any brand work that's coming up and anything that I've shot that needs to go live. So I just need to put, um, just put place in diary. And then I'll come on to how my diary works in a second. I know I've showed you it before, but I'll refresh any people who haven't seen that. And then that's pretty much all I start with. Because as I said, I just feel like it needs to be something that is manageable. And obviously that editing three videos and uploading three videos plus clearing an inbox is enough to keep me going till at least two, three o'clock. But by then I know where I'm at and what I need to do. So that is essentially how I start my morning, which is here. The only thing I do before all of that is do any paperwork. So I have some receipts from the weekend that I do need to file an expense. Again, I have these in a little pile here and let me show you how I do that. So obviously working from home and being your own employer, you have to manage your finances and how you work and how you operate. So my system is quite traditional, but I also do have a digital system too. It's just always good to have both. So for any expenses that I have incurred, I do keep the paper receipts, but I also scan them digitally and use an accountant system. Obviously I'm not gonna be showing that because accounts, just it's just all safety and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm obviously gonna show you guys how I do it. So I use these envelopes, these are from Poundland, they're self seal. And then obviously because we're in a new month, I need to write out a whole new envelope. So I will just pop on the envelope. Um, let me just write two seconds. Okay, so, so on my envelope, I've just wrote February receipts and then I've put in there um, the start of the month and the end of the month. And then any receipts that I have incurred throughout that month just go inside like so and then they're good to go for when I do my tax return. Now this is my paper file that I use. This is something that I um, have sworn by since I've started being self-employed and these are all of my receipt envelopes from so obviously I've just filed my tax returns then I've got May, June, July, August, September, October, November and so on and so forth. So this just is a good paper trail to have. I know it's not the most environmentally friendly way to do it. However, it just, like I say, it works for me. So this is what I'll do. I'll just go through each receipt, write on each receipt where it's from, what needs to be done, and then I'll file it away. So the time is currently 10.34, and the way I find I best work is in chunks and segments. I can't work for long periods of time. These looms glasses do really help because they can extend your period of screen time. However, it is always recommended when you are having a lot of screen time, um, regardless of wearing some protective eyewear, it's always a good idea just to get up, get a bit active, maybe just go for a walk, make yourself a coffee, have a five minute breather away, and then head back to it. So I'm gonna give myself an hour and 25 minutes to take me up to midday to go through my emails, smash through what needs to be done, and then start an edit. So that's literally all I'm gonna do. I've got my to-do list ready and checked. I've got my pens where I need to. So my desk setup is relatively straightforward. This is an external monitor I use, and it's from HP. I absolutely swear by it. It's a 24-inch screen, so it's really, really handy for editing because you can do split screen. Um, and then I have my files over here that I'm gonna sort through in a second. So basically, all of these need to just be transferred to my hard drive, which all works from my laptop. I close my laptop lid. It is really handy to have it as a third screen or a second, depending on how you look at it. But this is literally all I use now, connected by HDMI cable. And then I've got my external mouse and, sorry, mouse and keyboard. And this is it. This is literally me. So with my phone as well, I find like sometimes this can be a distraction. So what I do is just pop it on my wireless charger over here, which just docks it in if it's gonna work. There we go. And then I'll put that on do not disturb. So anything that comes through on that needs to be dealt with immediately will just come through in my emails. And then this is just not a distraction. Let's pop it there, it's charging away, and I will I'll put that off, do not disturb, at midday. So I know now I just need to crack on with some editing.
I always think it's really important as well whenever I'm working at my desk to have a full glass of water and a little snack. So this is just like an easy peel of clementine and water just helps me steer hydrated, helps like reduce headaches. I try and get through at least like four or five glasses if there's a day. Okay, so I'm feeling really, really on top of everything. So I'm just gonna highlight some bits and bobs that I've done today. So clear inbox that is now done. Inbox is currently at zero. It doesn't usually stay at zero throughout the day, which is good. Address something urgent, I've done that as well. And to chase, that is all set. Um, I've just popped in quotation marks because obviously I do know what I need to chase in terms of like accounts and things like that. Next thing I need to do is tackle some editing of some videos. I've just exported um, Cambridge blog for the weekend. So I'm just gonna put um, upload Cambridge vlog. If I haven't already added it to the do list, to do list, but it's already done, I'll still highlight it anyway, just because I feel like it helps with seeing what I've actually done for the day. So that's perfect. Visual Instagram content and place in diary, I still need to do that. But in terms of what I do for diary, I'm gonna grab that now so you guys can see. So let's just pop those to the side. Okay, so this is the planner I'm still using. This is my end of 2019 and 2020 planner. All of last year, so that's all of the stuff that went on last year. And then this is all of the things going on for this year. So, um, for February, as we're in a new month, this is perfect. Um, Book City Break, this actually isn't gonna get done anymore because we're gonna go away in March instead. Um, Billy is my stepdad, so I've got his birthday here. Um, February to do's. It's not really much that I actually need to do this month, but again, I'll fill that out alternatively. This, so this is the system that I use when I'm trying to plan out anything that I need to do. So, when I have my desk calendar up, which I'll grab for you guys now. So this is how I stay organized. So this is my desk calendar for the month and it doesn't look too busy at the minute, but I do need to pop some more dates and things in that we've agreed over the weekend. So whenever I am looking at my desk calendar here, this reflects on my iPhone, but then also it needs to reflect into my paper diary. So what I do tend to do is anything that comes through an email will be on here, and then I will transfer it over to this. But then I do also use this for two things. So I have my calendar and then I've got my work calendar. So I toggle between the two. Um, so these are all going to be essentially linked. All of this is done before. So things like doctor's appointment, um, a video that I need to go live. I'm having lunch with a friend tomorrow. We'll talk about some bits and bobs. It's like a post, so this is for a campaign that I've shot recently, so that just needs to go live then. And then over here, I've got another video that's going live, um, and then we're going to Brighton on Friday. So things like this. So at the start of the month, I had everything planned out of all of the videos that I wanted to film. So this was the list that I had at the beginning of the year, um, and this is everything I kind of had going forward. So um, exploring London with a film, film camera. I actually bought a film camera recently, so I expect that video to come soon. Weekly food shop sustainable and zero waste. Again, that's coming soon. Um, full house deep clean. I'm filming that this week. Um, working from home, getting organized again that's what I'm filming today how much I spend a week in London that's coming and then also working from home how I stay organized that kind of thing so on a completely separate page in here I'm just gonna put YouTube content and then I'm just gonna put today's date which is February the way I generally work is I need to write down everything that I have filmed and then everything that is ready to upload with the date so I'm gonna do that now and then I'll get back to you guys once it's all done Okay, so this is my list of everything that I have filmed so far. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we've got six videos that I have filmed. And then I've got this color scheme at the top, which really helps me for edited, uploaded, and scheduled with a thumbnail. So if it's, obviously all of these videos are filmed, so I know that's all done. So then I just pop a little highlighted color next to all three to know it's done. So midweek meals I filmed, I haven't edited, uploaded, I haven't done any of that. Cambridge vlog, so I can pop on here that I know that it's been edited, uploaded, and I'm not, I haven't scheduled it yet. So I'm just gonna do a little um, highlight here. So I'm just gonna do edited for one, and then it's currently uploading as we speak. So that's two, and then I know that's done. Um, ASUS haul again, I filmed that, I just need to edit it, and then the rest of these I need to edit as well. Five things you didn't know about me. That is also edited and uploaded and scheduled, so that's all good to go. So I'm gonna do the three lines for that. So this kind of schedule for me really, really works in terms of the color coordination as well because I can quickly look down and the ones that have no color near them, I obviously know that I need to give them some attention. So then what I do from this is transfer it to my paper diary and look at upload dates of what days I need to upload. So I transfer this into here.
Okay, so I know I said that I was going to do um, interval chunks. I was going to work until midday. However, I'm so close to finishing another um, chunk of an edit. So I always work into segments. So I'm going to work until one o'clock, which I know is a longer break than usual. But the handy thing about having the looms on is that my eyes aren't getting too tired. There's nothing worse than having eyes strained and they get really, really sore and dry. So now that all of my content planning and schedule is done, I can now refer back to my list and highlight schedule Instagram, Instagram content for the week. So that's all done. And then that is perfect. It's a really satisfying system having something that you can highlight because it just feels like it's, it's just, you're getting in the right place. I have edited the video with Ewan, so that's all good to go. So I'm just gonna pop a little orange highlight in that part there. And then also the Primark vlog I have edited now, which is perfect. And then I just need to upload those two. Now the last video I need to edit is the midweek meals, which I'm gonna start now. Time check, it is 10 to three in the afternoon. So it's been a really, really productive day so far. Obviously I really am a massive believer in taking regular breaks throughout the day just because it means you're so much more productive and you don't get overwhelmed. So we usually within my secondary break of a working day, I do like to do just some mundane house tasks. Like you can see behind me, I have a clothes area. So I need to take the clothes off of that and put another wash on. Um, I've got some dishes left over from lunch that I need to give a quick wash up. So I usually use around 20 minutes of that time just to have a little totter around the house and just to distract my mind elsewhere. I usually do it when I'm waiting for something to upload or export, all that kind of thing. So um, yeah, that's usually what I will do now. This is what I call the midday four o'clock. This slump where you've been gone for some time now, you've been gone since early AM, and you're just like, oh my god, this is dragon. Okay, this is me right now. The light is slowly starting to go. Obviously, we're still in February, still relatively dark, and um, coming into like mid late afternoon, and you kind of just want to just go and sit on the sofa with a cup of tea and watch some TV or something. No. You've got to try and stay in the zone. So I do try, as I said earlier, to get the bulk of my work done early in the morning so then the last few things I've got to do, I can maybe just take my time with and not feel like the pressure to get things done. And then it, realistically, all of the household chores are done as well. I've just whipped the hoover around really quick. And this is obviously a really, really good Monday. So I'm, um, yeah, feeling very, very productive right now. So I need to just finish off this little edit which you guys will see before this goes live. Um, it's a Primark haul with myself and YouTube, like a Primark follow me around, sorry. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of photo editing on Lightroom and Photoshop on my laptop. And that's it. All right guys, it is now half past five in the afternoon slash evening and I'm gonna make a start on dinner. So this is kind of like the end of my productive routine. It's really difficult when you are self-employed and you do work from home to try and choose your working hours. I mean, I will obviously continue to do bits and bobs throughout the evening, but the majority of my work, I'm gonna take the glass off, the majority of my work is done within work and hour times just because I feel like it normalizes it a little bit and it just makes me into more of a routine. So yeah, that's how I tend to work. So I'll start work at 8am and I'll finish around 5, 5.30 sometimes. 
Um, but obviously if I've got like a lot of edits going on, I'll carry on until it's done. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this, kind of like a look into my daily work and routine, how to stay organized, how to stay motivated, that kind of thing. Huge shout out to Looms for sponsoring this video. As I said, I will link the products in the description down below if you want to check them out. I swear by them now, and these are a staple. Whenever I'm doing some computer work, I'm going to pop them in my bag if I'm out and about as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will catch you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.